Hello, Sister Amen. Hello, Sister Amen. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. I see Ghana, sir. God bless you. I pray I win. I need come All right, sir. Me we pray church me in Nigeria. Ah, more be. More be. We must pray. 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 We must I make sure that they use the Zoom also. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hello, Hello Sister Amen. Hi, I was trying to log in on my stupid cell phone, but I guess it didn't work so well. Okay. I see. see. Oh, so it's on. Okay. Why is it not showing? Hello. Oh, Hello, Sister. Hi. Hello. I, now I see Pastor was calling. Hi, Sister Olu. Pastor, Hi. I couldn't answer the phone because you I was walking in at the store, so I couldn't answer. Pastor was calling while I was trying to log on. So I see he's on the phone, but he's muted. But God bless. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy I'm in New, New York with Shimon. Uh Sister Lou, how are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. God bless you. Amen. Yes. Um I know you are seeing when we are using the line. Mm. Uh, I make the line open for my people in Nigeria too. Yeah, that's good. I have to, I have to do the crossover service with them. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So, uh, Pastor Moses, over yes, to you. Sir. What do you have for us? Oh? Uh, really, I just want to thank God for everything because uh, according to the message I received, which I passed to everybody that uh, we should count our blessing, see what the Lord has done, and ask ourselves, what have we done for him for everything that has done for us? And are we going to make sure that we fulfill all his calling and his purpose in our life? so that we shall be, this coming year will be more productive in our lives. That's all I just want to share, and that's what I pass on in the morning as a text message. The rest is so far to you, sir. It's not about to me. the fellowship. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is to share the grace with you people. All right, sir. Let us- You, uh, you, do, you do the fellowship. I hope- uh, Mommy and Daddy Abiko, you are coming. You are privileged to see me because I was on with Nigeria. If I've not been on with Nigeria, you wouldn't have seen me because I'm getting prepared for crossover. Yeah. I know. Uh -huh. I know. So, you what are we going to do? do we, are going to we are going to pray now because we are not to hold you on for a long time because the Bible says yeah. that at this end time, anywhere we are praying, and we pray in the spirit and truth, he is going to answer us. Let us thank God for God that is only this church. That is only what I want to say. Thank God for the grace of God. This church in all the area, New York, have been going through a lot of things, but God in his mercy has been holding it together. God has been so faithful to us in every... Let us open our mouth and thank him. Our Can't Father and our God, in the name of Jesus, we thank Father, you. Father, we magnify you. you. We exalt your holiness. You. There is no like unto thee. There is glorious in holiness. We have been praised, doing wonders all the time. Thank you because you are the Alpha oh, and the Omega. You are the one that is building your church. And you said the gates of hell will never prevail against it. Father, we magnify you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. 
Father, we give you all the glory. Almighty God, we say thank you. Praise the Lord. For everything you are doing, you are so merciful. You are so mighty. You are so glorious. You are so excellent. Father, I just thank you. I worship you, Lord. I give you all the glory and majesty, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pastor, you're muted. No one can hear you. You're muted, Pastor. Am I muted? Pastor is muted, so. I guess he doesn't know he's muted. <laughs> Pastor, you are muted. He doesn't know it. I guess he doesn't hear us telling him he's muted. Oh, now he's knows, a... But he's doing it in one way. Let us thank him for the way God is forging us. He's cleansing us. He's perfecting us. Father, I worship you, Lord. I give you all the glory for the way you are perfecting this church of God. I thank for the way you are perfecting church of us. I thank for the way you are molding and shaping. You are forging us. Father, I mark you. He's muted again, so I guess he keeps muting his phone by accident. Hello? Pastor, you keep phone by accident, so I he can't hear you your Oh, sorry. A call is coming. Maybe yes, that's one that blocked. But the fact the oh, that I, what it is that, and I don't answer that call, so I decline yes, it. So hmm. we are going to continue to pray right now and ask God. That with God have started, especially in that area. And uh, in, in Albany, that God will make it to grow. God will raise people up who will walk with yes. us to see that this church grow and expand. And yes. expand because he said, fear not, O ye little flocks. It's God's <laughs> pleasure to give us the kingdom. God have an aim. We may not understand it all. Uh, uh, Pastor Laluwe was telling us one day, which every, every man or woman of God must express in one way or the other. The way God expands his mission is a mystery. Because he's building his, 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 building his church. Let us, thank, let us ask him, Father, continue to expand your church. Expand my life. Just like J Jabez pray. He said, bless me indeed. Enlarge my coast. Let your hand be upon me for good and remove sorrow and disaster from me. Let us pray for that kind of prayer. For this church, God must expand it. His aim is to expand it. He's the one that brought us together from every corner. Let us say, God, expand your church. Expand my life. Expand my business. Expand my career. Let us ask God for do, to do that. Father in heaven, we just thank you, Lord, that that God will expand this church. You will make it grow. You, God, you will use us in your own way for your own glory, honor, and majesty. That that God will touch every aspect of our life, of our ministry, of our calling, especially this church, oh God. That you, God, you are working, you are building, Lord. Father, I pray that that God will expand it. You will raise men and women up that we join this church and make it to be great. Father, I thank you, I worship you, Lord. Let us thank God for our leaders, because I let the, all of us, we are leaders. But thank God for those that are, are, are buried in, in the Jewish Christ of Apostolic Church and God's mercy center, that God has chosen our uh, district uh, superintendent, our district uh, sooner, this leader, that the, all of them, they are just want us, want the best of us. Thank God for Sister Amy. Thank God for Sister, our mommy, Ulu, Vanessa, and everyone. Let us thank God, raise me up. Let me be fruitful in this coming year. I want to do exploit. Empower me to do exploit. The Bible says, Ye that know your God, you are going to do exploit. Empower me to do exploit. Empower me to do greater things. Empower me to be fruitful. Empower me to do great things. Let us pray for that. Father, empower every one of us to do exploit, to be a, a soul winner, to be a, 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 a dynamic man and woman of God 
all of all of us, Lord. Father, use us for your glory. Thank us, Shada, because I'm going to do so, Lord. For we prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, I can see that our Father in the Lord, uh, Pastor Laluoye Mundilai, and uh, uh, we ask her because the time they give us is only four minutes. But I would like to read a scripture. Uh, with that. Because you're another church, right, Pastor? I think that's what he said. Uh, uh, go uh, ahead, uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We can hear you. So I will, I will read a scripture. And mm -hmm. that scripture is Psalm 23. Psalm 23. I want us to read that psalm. Because that's the cool worship that paid the price for us. All of us, we are following his footsteps. He said, I want somebody to help me to read that Psalm 23. It's so powerful as we are crossing over to this coming new year. As yes. individual, as a corporate body, I want somebody to please help me to read it, please. The Lord is my shepherd i shall I, not want yes he makes me to lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the still waters he restores my soul he leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake oh. yes though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for you are with me the rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Amen. Because in this scripture, this is a personal testimony. He is testifying to someone that lead him. He's telling us his personal experience. And just as Jesus Christ, when they gave him the book of Isaiah, and he said, the, whole, the, the, the Lord has anointed me, he said, today this scripture is being fulfilled. Just like that for all of us today, as we are going to this new year, this will be our testimony. Amen. Greater things will happen. Challenges mm -hmm. may come, but he said, he lead me in the path of righteousness. For my name's sake. For his name's sake. That means whatever we are doing for his glory is because of Christ in us, the hope of our glory. Mm -hmm. Amen. We, are clean, we are empty, empty barrel that makes some beautiful noise. But when he's living in us, he's going to continue to lead us. It's a relationship, intimate relationship with God. And that this will be our testimony. Amen. Amen. And no matter may be the challenge, he said he will prepare. Challenges will come. It will be a very good line. For any man or woman of God that said, all throughout 2003 will be roses. There won't be any, that would be a lie from the pit of hell. Yes. But what, whenever I come, let us understand one thing. He said he will prepare. He's in, he was telling us that that Lord prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Of enemies. God will prepare a table for you. Amen. In any challenge you may face, not only prepare a table, but we anoint our head it's with oil. oil. And your car will fall yeah. over. And when you are fre we have a fresh anointing, the Bible says, by the reason of the anointing, all the yokes, I didn't know any yoke that may come on your way, whether spiritual, mm -hmm. physical, material, financial, family-wise, mm -hmm. social economic wise the bible says by the rest of the anointing all the yoke shall be broken amen then the last word he says surely 
goodness and mercy. And mercy. That means you you whatever happens, because all things will work for your good. Amen. Whatever we happen, it will work for your own good, for our good. For Amen. our good, for our mercy. He said, goodness and mercy shall follow us because the mercy of God reign over all judgment. Amen. And when you are walking under the mercy of God, let me tell you, you have every cause to rejoice. Amen. Because I, I like that song. That loving kindness is better than life. That loving kindness is better than life. My hymns I praise. God, she will I bless you. I will lift up my hands in thy name because you love him. The loving kindness of God will come to lead us and guide us. Amen. This is the word I give to all of us for this coming new year. Then Amen. we can now do what he said. I will dwell in the Amen. house of the Lord. Amen. He said, Abide in me, and I will abide in you. Without me, you can do nothing. Amen. As we are going to this new year, we are going to abide in the Lord, Amen. in his counsel, in his will, in his purpose. Amen. And this church, Christ Apostolic Church, Mercy Center. Of the area, we grow. God will raise men and women up. Because I could remember a testimony that Pastor uh, Abikoye te te told me one day. He said somebody spoke to them all the way from Nigeria that they should go and support that mission. I, I wasn't the one that told them. That's how they support us when we are, when we are in Obni. He said that God sent somebody. And I've been seeing the hand of God throughout the year that this church has been. Whenever there's challenge, something will just come in. Mm. Whenever I'm questioned what is going on, so I will see something that will show up. That's why I say this church be, is beyond any of us. So God that is building his church will make it to grow. Amen. People will come from east, west, north, and south and say, that is where God has called me to go. That's what God is sent me to be. I'm proud of the grace of God in the life of our sister Olu, sister Fenisa, and our sister Amy. The one that whenever we go to her, she always sleep up. Sister Olu, we call, go and wake her up. She say, I'm still sleeping. Now she's on top of the Lord. Mm. I know God will raise more of like that passion and people that will be with us. And I thank God for our daddy that he said, let us go and encourage them. Don't like Paul said, he said, I must visit them. I must encourage them. I must give them an impartation. The Lord will come to increase you also and all our daddies in CC that are being support of this. Amen. This is my message for this year. God bless you, sister. Yes. God bless you. And God bless you, Sister Vanessa, Sister Lou, Sister oh, Ebe. Happy New Year to all of you in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. As we cross over to 2023, great achievement shall be witnessed by every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I just, I just made a declaration. I received it. God, as God led me to our church in Nigeria, and I wish to do the same declaration to you. I Before we uh, close tonight. And that declaration is found in the book of First Peter. First Peter chapter 5. First Peter chapter 5. I want you to hold that word tenaciously. I want you to run with that word. Run with it. Walk with it. Sleep with it. Pray it. Believe it. And uh, you will see God uh, bringing it to pass in your life. Amen. Uh, Peter spoke to the believers that were scattered at that time in the Asia Minor. And um, God gave him the word to tell them. And that has been the word God has led me to declare to the church in America here where I pastor, the DCC. And even the church God has helped me to establish in Nigeria before I come here. 
And that word is found in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. And hear what the word of God says. But the God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and set to you. Amen. Amen. I shall do this for every one of you and myself in 2023 in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I declare as the oracle of God, if there is any suffering that you have been having before now, that suffering is terminated in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. If there is any anguish, if there is any lack that you have ever been having before now, those lack and anguish are terminated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If any of you have been passing through any sorrow, if there has been any public or private weeping, God put a stop to it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If there is anything that has been eating you up, Eating you up as in reducing you to become nothing by the authority of the law. Such eaters of flesh, eaters of destiny, they are stopped oh. henceforth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. If your path has been troubled by anything, by any force, visible or invisible, I decree and I declare. As you enter 2023, such disturbances shall no longer be seen or be found around you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every step you take in 2023, the Lord will establish it. Amen. Every idea that you launch out, every goal that you launch out, the Lord will see to it that they come to fruition. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In 2023, you will flourish. Amen. In 2023, you will flourish. Amen. In 2023, you will flourish. Amen. You will flourish. Amen. There will be fruitfulness over Amen. you and over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In any area that your life needed the, the, the vitalizer of God, that you may come out beautified that you may come out robust, that you may come out beautiful, fruitful. I decree and I declare, let the heavens shower and rain such manure that you need in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 23, people shall line up to help you. Amen. shall line up to help you. Every nature of God shall line up to help you. The Amen. government shall go out of his way even to help you in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. His goodness and mercy shall follow us all Amen. the days of our lives. I yes. and I declare throughout your days in 2023, goodness of the Lord shall follow you. Amen. Amen. The mercy of the Lord shall follow you. Amen. The mercy of the Lord shall follow you. Amen. So the Lord shall follow you. Amen. Everything you put your hands upon, legit, every legitimate thing you put your hands upon in 2023, they shall succeed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In 2023, you shall not be frustrated. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I say you shall mm -hmm. not be frustrated. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for you as an assembly, as a fellowship, as a family, as an individual, upon your work, upon your business, upon your family, upon your husband, your wife, your children. I pray divine establishment in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In 2023, the Lord will say to you. Amen. He will say to you with peace. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. He will set to you with long life Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He will set to you with favor 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Anywhere you turn in 2023, you shall be favored. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The Amen. That you will go and will never return. You shall never embark on it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Everything that concerns you, the Lord shall surround it with his protecting arms in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The of God shall serve your purpose. Human beings shall serve your purpose. Amen. Situation and circumstances shall come for your help in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. The Amen. Lord will strengthen you in Amen. 2023. You shall not be feeble. You shall Amen. not be weak. You shall Amen. not be down in Amen. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Everything that you need for 2023, I order them and I command their delivery at Amen. the right time Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Physical, physical, financial, marital, in all dimensions, you shall be settled. Amen. You Amen. shall be settled. Amen. You shall be settled. Amen. The best of this land, the best of this country, in it shall satisfy you. It will satisfy your needs. It will satisfy your needs. Amen. Satisfy your needs Amen. in the name of Jesus. And every Amen. desire of you, everything you have ever desired to glorify God upon in 2023, they shall turn out to become testimonies. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You shall not suffer. Amen. Amen. No pain shall come near you. Amen. Amen. No regret or sorrow shall come near you. Amen. No weeping Amen. shall come around you. Amen. This fellowship Amen. shall flourish. This fellowship shall grow. Amen. This fellowship shall be established. Amen. Everything that we need, Amen. not only to be meeting on the line or on the phone, the Amen. Lord shall grant to this fellowship in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And enjoy the best of God. Amen. Amen. Oh, amen. And harvest the goodness of the Lord. Amen. It is done amen. and it is settled. Amen. In amen. Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. Happy New Year. Pastor, can you sit, text us or text me the link to today's, tonight's prayer? Because, of course, out of town in the devil. I got disconnected three times. So if you could text me the link for today's prayer, that'll be great. All right. Um, I think I have your uh, email, so to speak. You are not yeah. on WhatsApp, right? Huh? So you are not on WhatsApp, right? No, I don't do, I don't even WhatsApp. know okay. how WhatsApp. I no. will, I will, I will send the link to you so that you can watch it and you, you too can be blessed of it. Amen. Yes. God bless you. Any announcement, Pastor? Uh, is that we are going to have service tomorrow as well. And as we did last week, so we are going to do tomorrow. And God mm -hmm. will come to bless us. And uh, I believe that uh, very soon, uh, we are going to be hearing from our Pastor Abiko all the steps that we are going to come to press on. And I really appreciate it. I mean, for the beauty, for the room, this you have prepared for us that we can be worship before we finish that garage. And the very soon, by the grace of God, I will be able to come over and uh, join with. And I know by the grace of God, other people will be able to come, so we can have fellowship in that place together with all of you. Amen. Yeah. God bless you, man. I wish you. Uh, a blessed uh, month, amen. Crossover, a blessed year, amen. Uh, we shall all have testimonies of good things, amen. 2023 year in Jesus' name, amen. amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, amen. the Lord of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. 
rest, rest and abide now. with us now, now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Can we shout one powerful hallelujah before the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to God. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you, sister. God bless you. See you next year. Yes. See you next year. Happy New Year, everyone. Good night. Bye. Bless you. Long time.